Hi students, uh, I am here today to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2019 October November Paper 3 web page part. So in this web page part of the question paper, they ask us to uh, perform or create a web page and then make the changes into that. So let's start what they have said. They have started first with an evidence. Uh, in task 3 they said a table within a web page is designed to look like this this is how the table is examine the file uh, question number 16 and uh, like this table and hdd1 which were created by a trainee this i mean this website uh, in their attempt to produce the web page this web page uh, this is a copy of uh, HTML for the table. This is what they have uh, written. Analyze this HTML and suggest amendments identifying where each of these amendments should be placed. Do not include CSS. So what are the changes can be included into that? We are just going to get this one to the evidence 2 here as they said into your evidence too so the changes we can make to it first of all that is not uh, uh, the table border is uh, one then after tr this must be closed here like that the row should be closed and another column should be started here with td call span 3 TD call span 3 and then we should write here h1 h1 and then the tr is closed and then after here again we have td call span equal to 3 and then the image name is not mp4 that is jpg and then alternate and there must be a speech mark ending speech mark just like that and then the tg and tr that is correct so these are the changes need to be done into your um, evidence so then the table will give you the exact look that's it now moving forward to the web page part as they have said that a trainee has started to create a style sheet for super dish sales the style sheet is not finished and contain a number of errors you are going to edit the style sheet all color code must be in hexadecimal uh, make sure that you use the eff most efficient method headlines uh, headings styles like h4 h5 and 6 and will not be used do not uh, need uh, uh, defining make sure that your style sheet contain no html code so what we need to do we need to open the front page program first and then we need to open this spreadsheet over there so we just click on no here here we just need to click on page style sheet oh sorry i have created one you just need to click here open and then you need to go to desktop here your style sheet is 193 style so it contain number of errors so you need to adjust them according to the demand here so we usually do not include anything from this one and we updated like table position center align with in browser window so we need to center align the table into the uh, browser window so in this case i'm just going to uh, move forward with first uh, the width 1200 pixel and uh, no co not collapse the borders are not collapsed visible width 2 pixel solid and uh, yeah that is a width 2 pixel solid border color is this one so we just need to start with the uh, table and then after they said the table data so first we are going to start with the table so here 
I am just going to type here table that must be center line so we can just say here margin then left with auto then a semicolon then enter and another property you can say margin uh, to the right even and then auto just like that then a semicolon and uh, another thing you just mentioned here the width of the table is 1200 pixels and then border collapse separate so they are not together and then just close this one and then they have mentioned something about the border width so border width is 2 pixels here so you just mention here after this property you can just say here uh, border uh, 2 pixels and then solid as well solid and with the color code also so you just mention here the color code hash 8080 and then 00 this is what they said that is done for the table uh, then after for table data we need the cell padding from top of the table 8 pixel left and right 20 bottom 6 pixels border visible with 2 pixel solid border color the same so I'm just going to choose here uh, format style and then uh, I will choose here define TT modify and then a position uh, so it's not position here the border actually yeah the cell padding is here so from left and right it is 20 pixel then from top it is uh, 8 pixel and then from bottom 6 pixel just click on ok k and ok this is what we have about the uh, table data yeah what else you have to do with the table data we need the color so you just uh, mention here that uh, semicolon then border it is 2 pixel then space solid in color with uh, the color code is 80 same as the table yeah so this is done then the next step is uh, all heading style color and font is already given for all the heading style so in this case it is very simple uh, how many colors heading styles are there h1 h2 and h3 so just uh, type here h1 then comma h2 then comma h3 just like that then the color as they have mentioned uh, hash and the color is uh, RGB so FF FF and then 00, zero semicolon and then font family is times new Roman otherwise times and then serif if not this one and then just close the property here so that's all with h1 h2 and h3 now the font size for h1 14 point and alignment to the right so you just uh, enter here and just say here h1 then font size they want uh, 48 point and uh, what else yeah text alignment is right 
just like that text align is right then after for h2 you just create some space uh, like that h2 and then h2 is 24 points so you can just say font then uh, size font size 24 pt point and then what about h3 18 point and bold so h3 font size uh, is uh, 18 point and then font weight is bold that's all from this spreadsheet and next step they said correct and complete this spreadsheet using the information above place your name center number and date number as a comment at the start of the spreadsheet uh, sorry uh, style sheet so just type here um, a backslash then a star just like this and then your name center number candidate number and then at the end just use a star and then backslash again so that is done and they said save this style sheet use the file name 193 style followed by your candidate number so I'm just going to click here file save as then at the end my candidate number uh, 0297 you just click on save once it is saved now uh, what you have to do uh, take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place it into your evidence 3 so just print screen and go to your evidence 3 here and just paste it and then crop it so that the unnecessary part of the uh, style sheet is not displayed and then we can make this one bigger as much as we need like this so it is more clear for the examiner to see just like this and yeah next open the web page n19 webpage.htm into your web page package so click on open and uh, n19 web page this is the one yeah replace the text a candidate this one with your name center number and candidate number text a mm, yeah a this one need to be replaced with your name then your candidate number then your center number and that's it and then after this set attach the style sheet ssd style one dot css to it so format style sheet link head uh, desktop to a folder ssd style one add style sheet is attached then attach the style sheet you have created in step 17 to your web page so that it has a higher priority than ssd style 1 so i'm just going to click on uh, format style sheet link add and now this time this style sheet the one you just created so this is how it look like now and then the next step is uh, save the web page display the web page in your web browser make sure that all the page can be seen all the text can be easily read the address bar is visible so just click on here file and preview in the web browser here ok I will save the changes so let's see how my web page will look like yeah just click on uh, no and I'm going to reduce the zooming of my yes 
uh, how it look like still the contents are not visible all the content so I'm going to uh, reduce more just like that yeah all the contents are clearly visible so we just need to print screen and then just uh, we'll go to our evidence document here and we'll just paste this one here as in our evidence and then we just need to crop again just like that once it is cropped now you can make this one bigger as much as you need and then after uh, display the HTML source of the editor in your editor so we'll go to the code we'll select this all code and then we'll copy it and then we are going to just paste it here and then after save and print your document and that's all from the web page part hope you have learned how to make the web page and how to create the style sheet as well thanks for watching the video subscribe the channel for further updated videos and if you have any comment please type the comment into the uh, comment of a channel